we need to talk about India. There is no denying that India is a unique country, a dream destination for almost every photographer. In fact, most photographers that I look up to traveled to India and created amazing images. But it was for that exact reason that, for a very long time, I chose not to go there. I guess it felt like following someone else's footsteps. But once I've heard of a ritual called Theam, I changed my mind. I heard a lot about those ancient ceremonies of the Thiam artists, which allow them to embody and control a spirit of a god. So I decided that the best way to start this project was to go and photograph a few of them. But no matter to how many ceremonies I traveled to, something didn't feel right. I can't really put my finger on it, but I always had this very strong touristic feeling from the ceremonies I found. This was a clear warning sign. What I needed was a local guide, someone that can show us around and lead us away from these touristic attractions. And this is how we met Soresh. He liked our idea and decided to help us to find a better story. First, he took us away from the temples. He introduced us to Thiam artists away from the crowds, allowing us to simply learn about their traditions and, of course, to get some good images to start the project. Things were starting to look better for us. But there was still one problem left. I still needed to photograph a Thiam ceremony for my story. We told Suresh about our previous experiences with the Thiam ceremonies and the touristic feeling we had. Suresh made a few phone calls and said, Okay, we have to leave right now. It's a very long drive, but if we make it, it will be the exactly kind of Thiam ceremony you've been waiting for. When you do photography projects, you're always dependent on people like Soresh. People who care and are passionate about your project as much as you are. Not only that you find amazing images and stories, but you also find places that you never even thought existed. And while I can't really say that I completely changed my mind about India, that ceremony was definitely an impressive beginning of something new. <laughs>